this is a Python tutorial this uh, tutorial is all about creating a menu and those are the menu up there so if I click on them you can see they, although they don't do anything for now but uh, one very good thing about this very window menu as I've called it is I've been able to embed a text file into it that's the text file right there and uh, supposing let's say I go to Word and just maybe make up one or two things I can then uh, I can just copy and paste into it yeah, let's copy and then select it all copy and then we can just paste it right into this very text file we can paste it right into this text file that I've uh, embedded into my window menu file so let's say let me go for more and let's go for run yeah that's right there press enter and select whatever I like I just want to see if the scroll will work that is it right there you see the scroll works you can always use your wheel on your mouse to move it around that's it right there what I'll do next is just take you guys straight into Python development environment and show you how to put this kind of uh, application together so let's go straight into Python now and start a new tutorial entirely so I start by opening another window the first thing I will do is to import as follow from from Tikinta import import all into Python there so the next thing is let me create a class or call the class window menu and that's it enter column right there then uh, let me define as follow defaulted let me go for that and in it then now let's say self comma I think I'm just gonna call it uh, let me just call it doc right there document document systems right that's cool so enter my column there then i now need as follows i need some frames there so that's my main frame right there let's to declare my main frame and enter let's copy that i want that in there yeah that's the name of this whole system right now comma the width let me go for the width. The width is uh, let's make that 1280. Comma by the heights. Let me go for around 400. Yeah, 400 there. Now make the appearance be one. Okay, that is ready. So let's pack this frame. Frame dot pack right there. The next thing I will do is to let's go for as follows self dot let's call that i menu i menu equals equals frame I open the frame right there enter the frame there and uh, we say give me a raised one just the appearance of this frame there are other attributes that can be used if you research it so that's my frame there let's make that too okay so let's say self then self dot i menu dot park then, then let's fill equals so now that i've defined my frame right there the next thing is just to start with my menu so let's start with uh, self dot uh, let me call that uh, let's say i file menu <coughs> i file i file menu equals menu button so now let's say self dot i menu comma text so the text is going to be that will be known as file okay that's the text right there for my file so press enter and enter save dot i file menu let's copy that and just paste it right there dot pack okay where do i want it i want it on the left okay that's my menu right there set the next thing is okay then now let's go for self menu right here paste that underneath here self menu so i will change that to capital f i file system 
so let's call that system all right so equals menu itself and I enter enter bracket there self dot self dot i file might be a little bit uh, confusing but never mind this is just the first stage okay now tear off equals zero close the bracket right there so the next thing is you just need to then enter self so equals as follows menu and just close that as well with a square bracket and you then say equals self dot menu dot that that should be system i file system okay there so i have that ready so if i choose to run this let let me run it but to to run this i'm gonna have to enter as follows let's just paste that thing there bring that up so that you can see it here there so when i run this program now there you can see as you can see you will see my if you notice you see my small button right there that's it right there so we're gonna now speed this up um maybe let's populate this i'm just gonna populate this very file so that very menu let me populate it for you guys so let's just populate this very false part of uh, program let's say populate okay now underneath there i say i have self i file system dot add add and what we want to add is command we have a command there comma then let's go for label label equals new okay, just like you have in any other file so that will be a new one and uh, the command equals self dot should i quit or should i i uh, just leave it as that all right that's my first sub menu uh, maybe if i copy this let me just copy and paste another one and another one so i can just change their names this will be open and here let me go for save and uh, maybe let's go for exit in the case of exit i just use quit there let me say quit the system so run and save let, let's see what will happen right there okay we have okay that's incorrect let me change that so that's supposed to be stop let's change that sorry about that okay now let's run it again and there uh, we still have one error oh that's supposed to be an o sorry about that let's change that to command okay i think we are yep that's it you see that guys so all i just need to do now is to add more more menu up there and then the next thing will be my text box so right up here let me just make it clear here that's menu file there now underneath here i'm gonna create another menu okay let's just start with the edit edit menu right there so that's the edit menu so we can run that and see how it looks like that's it right there see the edit menu let's bring it here that's for file that's the edit menu the edit menu has nothing so let's see maybe we can add some sub into it undo and redo maybe one or two of those so let's add let's add sub uh, menu to the edit menu so let's just call this so that I mix it up populate file so i'm going to copy this and just change change it over let's paste that underneath here so populate menu all right take that up so we just need to change all of this so i will now copy this edit menu itself and just paste it here paste paste that repeat exactly the same thing for everything there I can change this name to undo. I think this one is re redo. Let's see what this one has. Okay, we change that to cut and copy. Cut and this one we change it to copy. Then we don't want to quit, so let's change that to stop. Okay, so let's run this program and see. Run. Let's move it to the center where you can see that's for the file and here 
is for the edit you see that file edit so you see the whole process all I'm going to do now is speed it up I'll get back to you guys okay this is how the whole program looks right now I've uh, created some more so let me just scroll down gradually so that you guys can see it okay at the end of the program right there so I will now run it let's run it for you to see right there this is how it looks the file edit option windows and help that's everything there although they do nothing right now only the exit does something that's it gone all right so the the final part of this tutorial is now to add let me break demarcate that now to add an empty text file i'm just going to add an empty text file here so that you can it will then look like a proper note or document file okay right here guys let's start and that's my empty text file right there that's it that's the name i've called it text drive txt so and those are the lines of codes that i've used to embed the text file so if i run let me run it and hopefully it should work there now you see that's my new text file there so it's doing exactly what i want it to do so i can just make up anything here let's copy that or i can type into it directly Also paste whatever I intend to paste into it and that is how you develop your own document system with a menu in Python so with that I'm just gonna call it by for now I suppose you all enjoyed the tutorial it's a little bit long so I'll just call it by for now you all have a nice day